So we all know that Maurizio Pochettino has proven himself to be a world-class manager on many different occasions, and he's clearly a very wanted man, as over the last decade he's taken charge of the likes of Chelsea, PSG, and of course Tottenham Hotspurs, but as of recording, he's officially signed to be the new head coach of the US men's national team, which don't get me wrong is an absolutely brilliant signing for the Americans, but I can't help but think that it's a bit odd for his own personal career, so of course in today's video we need to talk about it. Now before jumping into what this does to Poch's career, as I said this is a brilliant signing for the Americans. As we know, they will be hosting the 2026 World Cup and they've just absolutely flopped out of the 2024 Copa America, hosting the competition but not even making it out of the group stage, which of course was a major shame for them and they obviously need a big change. And of course, having some more experienced players in the squad, but mainly made out of youngsters that are building the future for American soccer, if you want to call it that, I think Pochettino is an absolutely brilliant shout for them and I don't think many people expected it. But as I said in terms of Pochettino himself, just in terms in terms of some of the projects he's been involved with over the last decade, I do think it's a very odd move for him himself. I mean, let's not forget, it was only three years ago where Solskjaer was in charge of Manchester United, where the new manager was linked to be either him or Zinedine Zidane, which considering the name of Zinedine Zidane, a man who won three Champions Leagues in a row, it kind of talks about how highly he was rated. And looking at his career as a whole, he is always impressed. Starting off his managerial career in the 08-09 season with a very discombobulated Espanyol team, entering the club as their third manager of the season, and you know what, he kept them up, and more than just that, he helped them finish at mid-table. And that's something he continued to do until leaving the club three years later after they had a very big dip in 2012. He then went to Southampton in 2013, where he helped the Saints finish 8th in the Premier League, which was their highest ever finish in the Premier League era. And Maurizio Pochettino was always very ahead of his time. He was a huge fan of the 4-2-3-1 formation, which then became very popular towards the end of the 2010s. Find the space to receive and then to force them to run back to their own... Uh, goal. And in 2014, after impressing with the Saints, he got the Tottenham Hotspur's job, of course his most famous managerial stint, where he did a major job. In his first season at the club, one of the main projects he wanted to work on was bringing academy players to the first team, and in his first season, he brought three big names from the academy, including the likes of Eric Dyer, Dele Alli, and of course, Harry Kane, who is now one of the most prolific, most famous goal scorers of this generation. I think you can see that with every player, that they're all there and we all want to fight for each other and for the manager as well. Throughout his five years at the club, although he never won the Premier League, he always competed for the top and he did take the club to their first and only ever Champions League final, where he was then sacked five months later. I mean, we can't be too surprised. This is a club that sacked Jose Mourinho for taking them to a cup final. In 2021, he got the PSG job, where he then got to work with one of the most famous front threes after the MSN era with Messi, Mbappe and Neymar, where he won every trophy available except for the Champions League, which in return cost him the job. In 2023, he then got the Chelsea Job, where he worked on a billion pound project under Todd Bowley, where he took the team from 12th place in the Premier League, having multiple managers in one season, to 6th place last season, where once again it cost him his job. Now I'm not saying Maurizio Pochettino is the best manager of all time, but he's worked on some massive projects and he's done extremely well doing so if you ask me. So as I said, the US men's national team are incredibly lucky to have him, and I'm sure he's going to integrate some vital moments into their history, and maybe he could do well at the next Copa America, or perhaps even at the World Cup. But what I'm saying is for his personal career, it is a bit odd, but hey, if he proves himself and if he can take USA very, very far when they host the World Cup in 2026, once again, maybe I'll be proven wrong, but I'll ask you guys to put your opinions down below because hey, as I said, it's a bit odd, but I kind of like it at the same time. An absolutely underrated manager of the current generation of football, but let's see what he can do with the US men's national team. Guys, this is a very different video to what I normally do, but I do want to kind of do these short documentary style of videos here and there. If you did like it please do like down below let me know if you want more content like this and of course don't forget to subscribe but fin f y double n cheers